You're watching ESPN's Afternoon College Football presented by PlayStation. Today, number 13, Michigan at 8 and 2, winners of three straight and six out of seven, taking on seven and three, Indiana. They are the number one passing team in the Big Ten. Michigan, one of the best pass defense teams in the country. The throw on target to Ty Freifogel. Lindsey swings it out to Peyton Hendershot, the tight end. Got rocked, but kept moving forward. He has another first down. Stevie Scott, the running back. It's a design run. Nifty move by Peyton Ramsey. He slides down at the 21. His opening possession just outside the red zone on second and four. And that appears to be a first down on another completion to Ty Freifogel. Brian Kalen DeBoer from Fresno State. Ramsey, room up the middle. Ramsey ducks down inside the five with another first down. First and goal, Indiana. Position to capitalize with touchdown. Stevie Scott up and over, and a touchdown for IU. One of the best kickers in the country makes it 7 0. Ewan has returned after missing three games from injury. He is a big part of the offense. Both teams like to throw to the tight end a lot. That's out wide, and Nico Collins almost broke free. Jalen Williams, a big tackle. Third down and three for Michigan. Jay Patterson scoots to his left, now retreating. Locks it up. Oh, it's caught by Hassan Haskins for a first down. Throw goes to the right. Haskins went in motion out of the backfield. Patterson on target. Diving catch by Donovan Peoples Jones and a first down at the 48. Patterson, all kinds of time to throw. Going deep. Man open. Giles Jackson inside the 10. First and goal. Michigan tackled by Khalil Bryant. Giles Jackson's lined up in the backfield, Sean. He came out of a play fake and just kind of ran the wheel route down the sideline. Excellent protection. Enabled Patterson to let that play develop. Nothing but passes so far for Big Blue. Askins to the five. Great though for Michigan. Moore has the Goal to go defense for Indiana. Back corner and a touchdown for Ronnie Bell. His first of the season. <laughs> He's their leading receiver at 37 catches coming in, but hadn't caught a touchdown pass since the first two catches of his career last year. Well, they got the good matchup they wanted. He's working on a safety, Jawan Burgess. Touchdowns on each of the first two against Maryland and Nebraska. Not a touchdown since until that one. Six yards. Quinn Nordine's extra point has tied it at seven. Patterson, seven for seven on the drive. All he does is turn out a top five defense year after year after year. Usually better than top five. Ramsey hit as he throws. It's a wobbler. And it is an interception for Daxton Hill. And Ramsey is not getting up. He was hit as he threw. Yeah, Carlo Kemp is the guy that got there and put the hit on Ramsey. Never got anything on the football, kind of fluttered out of there. And it leads to the first career interception for the true freshman, very highly recruited. Daxton Hill, the brother of Justice Hill, former Oklahoma State star, now running back with the Baltimore Ravens. 20 for Michigan. Zach Charbonnet, the freshman running back, with four receivers, two to each side. They bring pressure again. Patterson just throws it away with Jerome Johnson in his face.
Ramsey six out of seven for 55 yards and one interception on the last series. David Ellis in the Michigan territory and down at the 46 yard line. It'll be Ramsey to start the rest of this season. Blitz for Michigan. Ramsey has time, has a receiver. David Ellis, the freshman, inside the 25 of the Wolverines and out at the 23. He committed to Rutgers and Hart got him to change his mind and come to IU. Ramsey keeps and Scott helps him into the end zone for the Indiana touchdown. They do a great job with their quarterback sneak, Sean. They've done this all year. With the big Stevie Scott letting him take the punishment. We'll made a roll. It's a passion for him. Dane Womack is the defensive coordinator now. Nathaniel Snyder's kickoff returned by Giles Jackson. And a nice return all the way out by the 38. He didn't think he was down. And the officials are letting it go. Giles Jackson down the sideline. It's a touchdown. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's down. down. He's clearly down. It's not. <laughs> well, Michigan still with very good field position. With the 38-yard return, Hassan Haskins slides ahead for four. Here's Matt Berry on ABC. Hassan Haskins has the first down, gang tackled. After he picked up the first down with about... He's in sync right now, on the same page offensively. Out of the pistol now with the freshman, Zach Charbonnet, the running back. He's out of Southern California. Demonstrating his ability, first down inside the 15 to the 12-yard line. That's record though, that's over 1,400 yards back in 2004. To the end zone, man open was Donovan Peoples Jones and Patterson missed him. Throws on this drive that would have been sure touchdown. The one to Nico Collins down the sideline at that time. Peoples Jones was wide open also, and Shea Patterson, who's been very, very accurate, had two easy touchdowns with a little better throw. Jackson, the speedster back on the field, lined up on the right hip. And they give it to Jackson, trying to turn the corner, and a nice tackle, Micah McFadden. Third down and nine, Michigan driving down by seven, nearly four minutes into the second quarter. Patterson to the end zone, and what a catch by Donovan Peoples-Jones. 11-yard touchdown with another Floridian, the true freshman from Fort Lauderdale, Taiwan Mullen in coverage. Three receivers to the wide side of the field. Throw that ball up high, let Peoples-Jones go for it. That's good coverage. I mean, you're not going to be in better position in coverage than Taiwan Mullen was, but it was a perfect throw and a high-point catch. Extra point, good for Quinn Nordeen, just inside the right upright. Well, as expected, an entertaining game between two teams with winning records from Los Angeles. John Harbaugh likely watching this one today, watching his brother Jim's team. Dangerous throw. They try to set up a screen, and luckily for Indiana, that fell incomplete. One of the key players on this offense not available to Peyton Ramsey. He's on target there to Peyton Hendershot. High school football playoffs for Elder, where he's been the head coach 23 seasons in Cincinnati. Peyton played for him. Hayden Ramsey deep and incomplete, looking for Nick Westbrook. It's just one year removed from being the starting quarterback at Michigan. 14 all here, seven minutes to go till the half. Nico Collins the catch. So far in the first half of this ball game. Been a trademark of their season. They spread the ball around the receivers and running backs. Here's Charbonnet got grabbed by a face mask. Got the first down with the run, and they'll tack some more on Michael Ziemba. Of all the protections up front. Shea Patterson doesn't have to focus on any of that. After the fade, Patterson on target. Here's Nico Collins. 
inside the Indiana 30 and down at the 24 yard line. Given plenty of time again. End zone and it is caught by Nico Collins for the touchdown. He missed him earlier, the last possession. This time he doesn't overthrow Nico Collins. He knows he's a big receiver, has a size matchup. Throw it up there and let him go high point it over the smaller defender. Take a little bit off of it and let your big receiver go make a play. In the half, Quinn Nordine's extra point is good. Patterson three for three on the drive. They needed only four plays to go 80 yards. Another big game. This is a big possession for Indiana, Sean. Michigan won the toss deferred. They'll get the ball to start the third quarter. He didn't even address after suffering concussion and loss at Penn State last week. Ramsey faked it, tossed it out to Peyton Hendershot. And he's down about a yard short of the first down. Good tackle by the safety, Josh Metellus. He handed it off in the jet sweep motion, and Josh Uche just dumped Donovan Hale. Well, he was in a stand-up position, ready to shoot a gap. Here he is right here. He's just going to come right across the line of scrimmage and meet the ball carrier. There's nobody there to block him. They had too many guys on the line to block him. It was the perfect stunt Good call. Decisions. Certainly do not seem to be looking ahead to Ohio State next week in Ann Arbor. Short pass, Nick Eubanks, the tight end. Legend Tim Brando, yes. Proud son of Shreveport. They bring pressure. Patterson has time, has an open receiver, and has a big play. Donovan Peoples Jones for 41. He got behind. Devon Matthews. Well, they've been a, doing a nice job of getting the matchups they want. When they get these receivers on safety, he's so sure of who he was and what he was all about. Four man rush to get nowhere near Patterson. He throws a strike for Black, but he's short of the first down. Taiwan Mullen, when he was a recruit, came up here. Here's Hassan Haskins on the shotgun direct snap. They convert on fourth down. Charbonnet inside the 10. Two of them in the game right now. Eubanks and McEwen. That's the RPO look. They were looking for one of those tight ends, Sean McEwen. When they've been in the red zone before, one on one matchups in the slot. Donovan Peoples Jones, the receiver there. Charbonnet, the running back. He swings out to the left, drops the ball, and it was a forward pass, so it's incomplete. He and Jake Moody have shared the field goal kicking this season. Dean four for seven, but he was three for three against Michigan State last week. And through the precipitation, this field goal is good from 27. Ten-point lead for Michigan early in the third quarter. We both received in the mail. You're picking over my shoulder. Ramsey is wrapped up and they do take them all the way to the turf quitty pay leading the way for michigan second biggest threat at wide receiver ty freifogel is out for the game as well he has not returned after being on the field a couple of times with injuries in the first half ramsey a little comeback to the ball and a juggling catch by westbrook just in time it seems 41 for the year in terms of receptions now without failure. Over the middle, catch. Peyton Hendershot. Here's Hendershot again with some room on the near sideline. He's banged down at the 34 by Josh Uche. Second and three, Indiana on the move. It's Stevie Scott back at the ball game. Here he is. He got within a yard of the first down, his 11th carry. When he came here. Pressure from the Wolverines. Ramsey back shoulder throw incomplete. Looking for Peyton Hendershot. 
legendary for his performances on game day since 1987. Drew Wilson, the ball carrier for Michigan. They have the ball. Another play action pass, another bullet to Nico Collins. They're trying to get him. Raheem Lane will not catch him. Touchdown, Michigan. A little combination route. Right? You had two receivers stacked on top of each other. One of them's just kind of going to sit, and the other one's going to run the slant right behind him. Beautiful throw and timing by Patterson. A bad angle by Jawan Burgess, number five, and a short completion turns into a long touchdown for Michigan. 76 yards, career highs, and receiving yards in a game with 146 and two touchdowns today. Dylan McCaffrey comes on. They're going to go for two, and Indiana defended that very poorly. Michigan catches Indiana by surprise. And the two-pointer makes it 32-14 to 14 in favor of the Wolverines with 5-10 to go. Back-to-back -back games with four touchdown passes for Shea Patterson. Five straight incompletions for Peyton Ramsey. And look out, he gets hit and the ball's out. Hit from behind and the ball popped out. Josh Uche got there to jar it free and Michigan has recovered. Uche came up with the football as well. And Uche is working on the freshman left tackle, Matthew Benford. Just uses pure speed. He gets his shoulders turned right away. Watch him take a beeline to the quarterback Bedford's beat right now. Strips it, pushes the quarterback away from the ball, and then falls on it for the recovery. Did it all on that play. And there's that speed. Now, Ollie just gave the report of those, the speeds by miles per hour, and that speed off the edge by a defensive end. And Uche really doesn't even have a pure position. Don Brown just said, we know he can rush the passer, so we just need to put him out there in situations where he can do what he does well. And, he paid him off that time. Well, Don Brown said he can really rush the passer, and he has some power. He can go speed to power. Patterson back to the end zone. Another touchdown pass. His fifth of the game. Nico Collins the catch. His third touchdown of the game. Three wide receivers to the side. Nico Collins is the furthest one out. Here he is right here. He's just going to run the post. He's going to come right into the middle of the frame for Sean Shea Patterson. He goes up high. That's You know the other thing about that throw, Sean? He throws it up high for his bigger receiver to go up and catch it. And the extra point good by Quinn Nordine. Michigan trying to win its fourth in a row, leading 39-14. to on third down and eight, Peyton Ramsey on target, flags down. My Peyton Ramsey off his back foot, incomplete, looking for Peyton Hendershot. It's like Indiana, when you win some consecutive games in the conference, I mean, that's, you know, that's what is, I think, you the positive thing to build on. Ramsey on target, it's Ty Freifogel again. Play Wisconsin, and Wisconsin wins that one next week in Minneapolis for the right to go to the Big Ten Championship game. Samson James on third and three went nowhere. Driven back by Aiden Hutchinson. First down inside the one. Trying to score a touchdown with 13 and a half to go. Three receivers in that bunch to the right. That's where Ramsey looks, throws it to the back pylon. And incomplete, intended for David Ellis with Josh Metellus in coverage. Yeah, and perfect coverage by Josh Metellus. He's a safety, but he has corner coverage skills. You got a bunch formation. You got to sort it out if you're the defensive backs, and Metellus in perfect position. I mean, there's just nowhere to put this football. 3rd down and four. Patterson deep again, adding to what is already 
A huge day. Mike Sainristel, the true freshman, ran under that one for his seventh catch of the season. He's out of Everett, Massachusetts. See, Sainristel stays on the numbers, which allows the quarterback to throw that to the sideline, out over the outside shoulder. That's impossible for Reese Taylor to defend. Boy, how cool was it to see Tua Tungabailoa show up for senior day at Alabama today, too, coming out there in the golf cart. Mm -hmm. Patterson under duress, throws an interception. Micah McFadden picks it off and brings it back outside the 15-yard line. ESPN and the ESPN app. Connor Thomas getting his first touches of this season. Redshirt junior from Clarksville, Tennessee. Stan and Neil are a great duo. You know, when I watch them, they just make you smile. They're happy people. They like each other. They're funny, informative. You know you're going to enjoy it when you watch those two. A lot of great stories to cover tonight. There won't be another snap. So Michigan has now won 24 straight head-to-head -head against Indiana and 39 of the last 40. And they didn't need overtime to do it here in Bloomington today. Indiana now seven and four with the defeat, and Michigan goes to nine and two, six and two in Big Ten play.